Constituency Development Fund CDA was first approved in 1995 and has been administered through local government, whose primary intent is to support the implementation of developmental programs at constituency level. From its establishment, successful governments have pumped in resources yearly, though consistent in funding and equity distribution has been at minimal. However, change of administration has seen some great improvement. Now, gigantic increase in resource allocation can be seen as from 2021 and 2022 when President Haga in the Hijinema came into power. Situated over 190 kilometers southwest of Lusaka, Monze is a town in southern province well known for its rich cultural and historical diversity and its contribution to a food basket through maize and livestock supply. Monze district with a population of 268,432 persons has developed over the years. But just like other parts of the country, Monza's development could be said to be limited due to the scarcity of resources to ensure that as population grows, development follows suit. But with the increased allocation of resources under CDF today, a lot of developmental projects have are and will be going on in the district. Namaube Primary School in Monza Central constituency is one point benefiting from CDF through the setting up of a water and sanitation project and rehabilitation of staff houses as Sunny Mijelo, the acting deputy head teacher, confirms the 390,000 ongoing works. So we were lucky we were granted and given a grant of 390,000 kwacha and from there we've renovated three staff houses which, which are now in good condition and the teachers are enjoying them and then also the remainder of the grant which is a 300,000 is the one where following the government and the presidential directive that we should have waterborne toilets so from that funding we have started the construction of six waterborne toilets at the school. Simo Ndenge Primary School is another facility that has received funds for its water project, which is benefiting both learners and the community around. Gilbert Kawenda, an authority at the school, stamps the benefit of the project, and a community member equally affirms. Because it has reduced the number of uh, diseases, for example, diarrhea and the like. The, the teachers, the members of staff, uh, do uh, they, they do not need to come here to draw water as they used to do. And then the, the community actually is benefiting because actually it has lessened because they don't waste a lot of time making some cures because there are many taps now. <laughs> Pupils at Simogale Primary School today can take turns to draw clean water and learn from a newly constructed one by three classroom block, both done from CDF. Muyabe Conte, a local contractor, is handy with his all youth team in constructing this facility. Going forth, you can do more than this and you can build the entire school. Because uh, what we have done, the community, the school, and the entire uh, the council, they are happy with what the works we have done. Chiobola Primary School is another public facility to get a one block of three classrooms, or one by three, done under the CDF, together with this 91-year-old school, Namayela Primary, that has been in a sorry state, but now has some classrooms renovated which cheers Gertrude Kanondo, senior teacher. And this time we are able to sweep properly without problems. There were holes on the ground. This time all is fine. Concerning the roof, we had a region that was blown off, whereby during rain seasons, learners used to gather at the corner. But this time all is history. We are very happy. Monza District Town Council Secretary, Beston Gajoba, 
speaks to the needs that have been created by the pronouncement and actualization of free education, such as person blocks and desks, among others. Uh, in the last uh, two years, we have uh, constructed and uh, renovated about 20 classroom blocks. Um, that is 11 uh, new constructions, starting from zero all the way until we finish, and then uh, about nine uh, renovations. These are projects that uh, we started before. Uh, we have one or two that were begun by the community. We also went into procurement of uh, desks. With 16 members, Mumulo Multi Papers Cooperative, that got 18,000 kwacha loan from CDF, has built a piggery. And by close of 2023, through Stembisi Wehajofwe, one of the group members, expectant to see an increase in numbers of animals as the four of the five pigs were pregnant. Agu community ogu nongkotu wede gu gonde ya guahiri ya kambo tuwaga jana imu yagi oyongo tuwaga badera koguta walo waga aguli guahiri ya gumu washi wagwe poona tulijisi musa um, mkwa mungu ushi ngo tuwaga lomba kutika tulangira ingulu vehi mubu kwa tuwaga mbao tedi ni tuwago nya igupa inchito at least gumu gubu somwe poona mungu ye ya tuwaga tedi motu ya abu gomena Chisekesi Ward Councillor in Monze Central, Mundia Hamondo, is encouraged with the developments taking shape and further glad that the 12 clubs that benefited from the funds to venture into various businesses like animal railing and commodity farming are making progress. The future is bright for them. Uh, behind me, I think you are seeing the, the animals. The, the steers. This is one of the cooperative as well that is under Chisekese Ward. These they are into animals. They would buy they would buy small small animals and then feed them. Then they sell. CDF is really helping in our communities. Monza Central Member of Parliament, Honorable Jack Mwembo, at a handover of eight moving machines, got from CDF notes. I have no doubt in my mind that the cry of the people of Monza Central constituency pertaining to poor roads will be a thing of the past. I would like to appeal to my colleagues in the council to utilize this equipment prudently and diligently for the benefit of the people of Monza Central constituency. Total CDF loans disbursed for Monza constituency in 2022 tags enormously, while secondary school bursaries are at 823,000 kwacha, with grants amounting to 1.7 million kwacha. On the western side of Monza Central Business District, just few kilometers, rests Wengo constituency. Council Secretary Beston Egajova notes the importance of having good road network connecting two different areas. So uh, as a district we realize that we have a great need in terms of um, uh, having uh, a good road network and so the decision that uh, CDF committee is acting on recommendations from WDC NED was that we procure our own ethnic equipment because as Monza we only had one grader and one uh, buckle uh, loader tractor. And so we have procured through CDF uh, two motor graders, one for Wendy, another one for Monza Central. We've procured keeper trucks, uh, three of them, one for each constituency. We've also procured a roller compactor as well as a water bowser. Now with this, we've been able to work on a number of roads so far. And true, on the CDF monitoring trip to Wengwa, the Wengwa constituency grader got under CDF is found on the ground doing what it knows best. Uh, 
Zambia, Jisi Jaruga Manjano, Jisi Jaruga Jisi Jaruga Manjano. Healthcare is one paramount incentive to the government and its people. Hence, the construction of the health facility, Chungu Clinic, in Chungu area of Wengwa. And residents of Wengwa are happy with the facility. Try to make sure that we can get to the area. 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 We can get to the Yirimini kwa bantu mbanyi maningi. Yamana bobo, eji badera tuwa ilumba hunu mende kambo. Yaji wayaguta sapura hinji maningi. Jiku mini ya maga na eji badera utijimane. Eee, hey, tamvilabu ino pa vaili government iti shitila. Mwonga in terms of kukliniki kuno, kuno kuno, tamvilabu ino kubozi kliniki kuno enze patari. Ni wambili wa ntwana wa mimba, wayo leba, ainda kuleba, pakati paro di mimba ya uka. Babari na mvikochi wa ntwana, ngati kliniki lipa fupi. With over 1,200 learners, Malundu Combined School, which has both primary and secondary in Malundu Ward of Wango constituency, has received a shot in the arm by the construction of this one by three classroom block being confirmed by head teacher William Kwibisa. We applied to have a classroom block for the secondary two section because we don't have infrastructure in this section. And uh, kudos to the New Dawn government. Our application was approved and then uh, we were given uh, to construct a one by three classroom block. And this is the block that you see. We don't have infrastructures specifically for, meant for the secondary two section. So when this block is completed, it is going to go a long way in terms of uh, um, addressing the issues of uh, inadequate infrastructure because it is going to be able to accommodate our grade C10 to 12 learners. To the delight of parents around Malundu area, Obot Munamwimbu speaks. So no, Ejigolo Chotwa Pegwa Chiragwa hamaningi iku bantu iba zisulirwa kapati mumarundu ward tulalega iku sinya mali uyo we andawa la places mu mu mumasena malahula This is Wengwa Primary School after having its roof being blown off rendering the classroom block unusable CDF has come to do wonders at Wengwa Primary School as this block was done under CDF Another facility where CDF is being utilized correctly is at this land where Chief Hamusondi's palace is being constructed. Accommodation is key to worker motivation and it is for this reason that Baudi Jombe was picked as a local contractor to build these two attached staff houses at the Wengwa Rural Health Center. That's why so, Surrounded by 18 villages, Kanundwa Primary School in Iwengo constituency has received a one by three custom block from CDF, which the local contractor Dennis Himanyanga is appreciative of the importance of local engagement as this has created employment. So CDF, 
abantu bamwe banga tabajikone gabo tukubereka gabo gatu hondo toti totu jana ngatu tabajikone kuba ajo leja kwa abana and a very delighted senior teacher charity linyantwe hopes the school will continue to be empowered even in the next row out of resources to have it upgraded to a secondary school and have other amenities so when they graduate to grade 10 they have got no other way apart from going to chongo and the other secondary schools so if this school is opened as for grade 10 up to 12 it will be very easy for them to bring their children here and they won't even spend more Monze Boarding Secondary School once abandoned this laboratory because it became dilapidated and dangerous for learners and staff. But CDF has come in convenient to repair the facility and adding state-of-the-art fittings. The structure was very dilapidated. Uh, the roof now is very strong, it's strengthened. The threads of collapsing are no longer there. The tables, as you can see, the concrete tables had no fittings. We are seeing like uh, the, the sinks, the taps were not there. When a member of parliament, Honorable Mijelo Gasauta, cautions recipients of loans and grants and the community as they receive eight moving machines, further promising continued CDF distribution. In this money CDF, it is your money. Make sure that you monitor it heavily. Where you see, where you sense corruption, please you should quickly report to the relevant authorities. Come 2025, we promise you that all our children here in Wengwa constituents, okay, because of this desk you have seen, because of these buildings we are putting in, because of the motivation which they are getting through the help from the government, I promise you that the pass rate with our head teachers here, we are going to hit above 80%. We promise you. Total CDF loans this best for Bwengo constituency in 2022 tags at 2.7 million, while secondary school bursaries at 1 million 11,000, with grants at an amount of 1.9 million kwacha and skills development bursaries stands at 623,000 kwacha. On the eastern part of Monze town, passing through this bridge is the beginning of Momba constituency, another vast area a single member of parliament represents. A weir dam at Nabugu area, meant as a water reservoir for livestock, is one of a number of CDF projects in Momba constituency. At Nabukuyu Primary School, CDF is stamping its foot in a phenomenal way through this neat one by three classroom block. In Injola Monza Ward, healthcare stands as pivotal. In development, as can be seen at Njola Mwanza Clinic, where a staff house has been constructed, completed, and now occupied by a health worker taking care of the people's health needs. This road leading to Mwanza School was graded recently using the 2022 CDF resources. And just where the road leads to, Workers are found busy with works on the 1 by 3 classroom block to benefit locals. CDF is not just limited to setting up of new projects, but supports indigenous ideas like here where CDF Resources built this Lusamu Community School and its staff house and related facilities that are at completion level. Well, just minutes drive is a neatly constructed Njola Health Center, which is in its completion.
It is all smiles for the 21 member Kavula Women's Club of Mamba Ward in Mamba constituency as through Christina Milambo recount how 20,000 Kwacha CDF resources was used to purchase 25 goats that will now better their 21 family incomes. Basamari Jatian CDF. No Nijamana, Twajibo Navi, I just see a morning to say, just see Gabi among Andais. Chitwataga, he would tell on Sejia, I would see Gari Mutwasigawano. A man who bought to Bobo Batre, Terra Mobile over Hagain. Mumba Ward Councillor Speedo Bampaninga is impressed with the progress being made by Kavula Women's Club and further outlines some of the projects in this area. CDF is a game changer, especially for a location like this one, which has uh, almost no form of employment here, or in terms of business. The business here is difficult, and uh, there, there are no industries here to create employment for the local people. So for such a project like this one, it is going to create employment to them. We have employed uh, some younger men who are looking after these animals. On top of that, we also have other projects like the school project which is running at Nadonga, the one by three classroom block, which is almost 99%, I would say, is completed. And there's also, we had also, we have also done boreholes this year. So far, we have drilled about uh, 12 boreholes and eight more uh, are still in pipeline. Loveness Mwinga of Goomba Club, still in Momba World, never expected that she, with other club members, would receive resources from CDF to start any business. But today, she represents fellow club members in sharing their joy of receiving 25,000 kwacha to purchase 25 goats for their business. For Mildred Mwinga of Simoru Club that got a grant of 6,000 kwacha and bought these pigs, she is glad that they have now started multiplying and will soon see their first market sell. Regards CDF education bursaries, Kaumba Secondary School in Momba constituency has mopped 286 learners the entire district of three constituencies, Momba, Wengwa and Monze Central. Patrick Magala is the deputy head teacher at Kaumba Secondary School. This is a very big plus on our side as administrators because the CDF has played a very important role. Unlike maybe in the past where parents had to fetch for school fees for their children. So this time we find that the attendance when we open is so overwhelming and uh, sending pupils to go out to look for school fees I think as of now is a thing of the past. Part of the 286 learners on the CDF bursaries express their joy and appreciation in this poem. Governments have come and gone, presidents have come and gone, ministers have come and gone, Regimes, OS regimes have come and gone. Members of parliament have come and gone. But this regime is an extraordinary regime which has brought free education to our nation. What if we be the world of poverty? I could not go to school. Gone are those days. New society has come. The CDF has come here to help us. Free education has come into my life. I ran with fear and all my might. It was an amazing fight.
total CDF loans dispersed for Mabo constituency in 2022 lands at 2.9 million kwacha, while secondary school bursaries are at 494,000 kwacha, with grants amounting to 1.9 million kwacha and skills development bursaries stands at 481,000 kwacha. Mumba constituency MP, Honorable Fred Chatila, at a handover of one of the CDF projects, shares. That's why so this is a real empowerment and um, there's no doubt uh, that this has actually had an impact on the, 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 the local uh, economic situation here in Monza. And um, as I mentioned, we're talking of three constituencies so that um, amount of money three times in the district and this has happened the last two years and going forward in all angles, all corners of the district, when you go now, you find that women are very busy because of the grants that they have been given. Uh, men are very busy because some have be become contractors, some have become suppliers. The youths youth have gone to skills training. So everyone now is very busy and then the, 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 the community is benefiting. They sure this money it's a, it's, a, it's a game changer. CDF is a game changer. It has even changed the, the standard of living of our people. Indeed, from the positive changes being imparted on people's lives, Constituency Development Fund, CDF, is a game changer. There goes the news.